Hello all and welcome to Wake Up With Marcy. It's time to heal, transform, and get a little spooky today on Wake Up With Marcy's Halloween special. We first meet Nicole Cannon. She is the writer and executive producer of her debut film, Transference. The movie tells a story of overcoming childhood sexual trauma through a horror and psychological drama lens. Then we will meet producer and director Suzanne De Laurentiis. Suzanne will chill us with a little bit of horror discussing her new series, Saturday Night Scares. Followed by Glamour Squad, an in-home beauty styling service. They are offering the eyes only makeup service this Halloween. It's time to look great behind the mask. Let's meet our guests. Hello, Nicole. Welcome to Wake Up with Marcy. Thank you so much for having me on, Marcy. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for being a part of our Halloween special. <laughs> <laughs> so you are the writer and executive producer of your film, Transference. So yeah, what an awesome film. But I want to talk a little bit about what inspired you to write the film. Okay, so um, I made a transition from being an actress to being a writer, and, and I had written a couple of large budget films, and you know, none of which kind of made the screen, and I had um, wanted to see my words come to life, so I decided to write a film that I could produce on a small budget, and when I went through the Rolodex in my mind of stories I wanted to tell, I remember that there was a public service announcement that I had seen in 2005, and it was a young girl pushing a dead girl on a swing. She was pulling a dead girl around on a wagon and she was on a seesaw with a dead girl. And the tagline said, survivors of sexual abuse have to carry a dead part of themselves around with them for the rest of their lives. And I related to that because as a survivor, I, I, I spent many, many years trying to acknowledge and integrate and rescue that lost piece of myself um, that had occurred during, you know, the trauma of sexual assault as a child, so. Yeah, I don't know if you can see I'm tearing up because I myself am a survivor. And wow, how powerful that PSA must have been for you. It was mind blowing. Mind blowing, I'm, it's mind blowing for me to even hear it, but I certainly resonate to it. Um, but gratefully, I've done a lot of healing, so I feel like I've gotten that little girl back. But back to your film. So I know that you, you this is a fictional film. It's, yes. um, it's a horror film. But why don't you tell us a little bit more about it? Because I, I know it's fiction, but it's a based off a little bit of your life. Yes. So it's not my exact story, but it is my story of healing. And like you said you know, had to do the really hard work of going and rescue that little girl. You know, if she was lost, her innocence was lost mm -hmm. at that time. And, and, and she was shrouded and covered in, with shame. And so in the story, I, I use that metaphor as the entity that shows up in our protagonist's life when her father passes away. Mm -hmm. And um, she is trying to reject or deny that it's, it's, it even exists and it keeps on persisting and getting louder until she actually acknowledges and recognizes the past and what happened and turns to it towards love. Mm -hmm. And you know, her daughter is able to um, have an experience of this entity because she still has her innocence. So she sees this darkness through the eyes of innocence and love. And wow. so um, not until uh, Camille realizes that she can't turn away from it anymore um, does she finally have an integration scene where she's able to um, reclaim her lost innocence, I would say. And you play the mother in the show. I actually don't. No, we hired no? an amazing actress, Lauren Buyoli. Um, I, I always say her, her name wrong, but we were so blessed to find um, just an incredible actress uh, who, who brought so much humanity and heart to the role of Camille. So grateful for her. But oh. my daughter actually plays Piper. My daughter plays- Oh, your daughter's in the film. Yeah, my daughter, my, my daughter is in the film. She plays um, Piper and young Camille. Wow, that's incredible. Well, let's take a look at the trailer now. Okay, great. I think the monster under the bed at night is born of the parent skeletons in the closet. You are his special little girl. Can I have a kiss? No. It's weird. I don't feel anything really. It's like I'm dead inside. 
outside. I need you to make me forget. You're hungover? Are you sure you're in the right headspace to see clients right now? My dad just died. People process grief differently. Piper doesn't want to go to bed. How did you know what her name was? She told me. Sadie? Imaginary friends? I mean, you're a doctor. You know better than that. This isn't real. Yes, she is. It's just a cry for attention. I miss Piper, Daddy. Can you help me find her? What does she look like? She looks like Mama when she was a little girl. I'm doing some kind of version of grieving. I help little girls and boys when bad things happen. All those years, you knew what he was doing, and you never did anything to stop it. You have to stay very quiet. Sometimes it's best leaving the past alone. Daddy needed me to help him. If you tell anyone our secret, I will kill you. I am not a broken little girl! You're helping me remember, Piper. I can hold my breath, hoping in the sound of silence I could disappear. He threatened to kill me if I ever told anyone. That's when the world went black. Wow, that was really powerful. Uh, Nicole, I, I really have not had the opportunity to see the film, but I'm really looking forward to it. So the film's on Amazon Prime, is that correct? Yes, Amazon Prime. Um, I don't think it's on any other streaming services right now, but um, if there is any, I'll update you and let you that know. Would, that would be fantastic. So how was it for you writing this film? Uh, was it cathartic for you? I, I mean, it had to have been. It's de it was definitely cathartic a lot. I feel like because I, it was at the end of my healing journey, the, the, the last piece was speaking it out loud, like, like reclaiming, you know, stepping out of victimhood and reclaiming my story, you know, and this is that, that's not my story. This is my story. So there was a lot of empowerment, I think, in in telling the story, and then even in putting it out in the world in a very big way, it's so hard. This is a subject that not a lot of people talk about, and yeah. I think you know, instead of seeing it through the eyes of victimhood, seeing it, it through the eyes of a survivor, and being able to stand up and, and say what happened. I mean, it, obviously, it's not my story, but say you know that there yeah. is healing, there is light, there is integration at the end of that darkness. I think That's it's very empowering for me, and I hope for anybody else who maybe you know, sees the film and relates to it in any way, so. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. Is there anything that you could say to someone out there that maybe has gone through it and has not started their healing journey? Um, I think it's a, co a common human thing to um, feel like a lot of self-blame when something bad happens in our lives. And so I think that self-forgiveness is the first piece mm -hmm. and just be really gentle and graceful with yourself and your healing journey and process and just listen, get quiet, get, really listen to, to yourself and trust your instincts and um, just love yourself up, you know, and just know that, um, you know, this thing that happened is in the past and you're in a really strong place now to be able to you know, heal and cope and integrate and deal with every, all of it now from a very, very strong, empowered place. Because yeah, here and yeah, made it. So. Thank you, Nicole. I I totally relate to that. And um, yeah, just reclaiming that little girl, then loving yourself is exactly what we have to do and learn to do. Yes, uh, that's what I had to learn to do. And then I had to learn to receive love, what it really looked like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I totally relate to that as well. Because I think it's so easy to be the, the one who is the loving one, um, instead of like really uh, opening up those unlovable places inside of us and allowing that light in when it comes that way so yes exactly well i see a lot of light in you nicole so thank you so much and thank you for sharing your film and again i can't wait to see it i wish you so much luck with it thank you so much marcy i really appreciate you having me on and um sharing my film with your audience that's awesome and and your story so thank you <laughs> my story yeah, thank, thank you all right bye nicole Okay, bye, Marcy. Thank you so much. Join me next week when we meet motivational speaker, success coach, and meditation guru, Anna De La Rosa. She and I have a very candid conversation about mental health. We then meet president and CEO of New 42, Russell Granite, and his daughter, Sadie. They are fighting to support arts and culture. Hear how you can help. Next up, we will meet Suzanne De Laurentiis and she will tell us about her new series, Saturday Night Scares. Hello, Suzanne. Welcome to Wake Up With Marcy.
Good morning, Marcy, and happy early Halloween. Thank you. I absolutely love your setup there. Thank you for being a part of the holiday show, Halloween show. Oh, we're just thrilled to be here. Thank you so much. So you have been in the industry for over 35 years in entertainment, films, award-winning producers. Like, it's amazing what you have done. Well, I truly have a passion for the business. I really, really love what I do. Yeah. So let's talk about this new venture that you have, Saturday Night Scares. Tell us about the show. Well, we profile old classic horror films from the late 60s up through the 70s. And then we have some of the actors and actresses that were actually in the films. And then we have some other A-list actors that come on the show that started their career working in horror. So it's really exciting and fun. And it's so neat to hear their stories about when they worked on set and the old classics. So it's really, really fun. That's so cool. So tell me why horror flicks? Well, I, I always had a passion for horror. I remember in the 60s running home from school every day to catch an episode of Dark Shadows with Barnabas Collins. I was an avid Hammer House horror film um, uh, fan, and I've always loved old classic horror films. And we still make horror films at my company. We started making those in the early 80s. and. We do a lot of other movies too, comedies and dramas, but my true love and passion has always been horror. I gotta tell you, I love scary movies. I always have. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> so let's talk about... Yes, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's super fun. I, well, I actually have a lot of friends that are afraid. So you know what? I actually go to the movies when we could. I used to go by myself. I loved it. But um, <laughs> I want to talk it's fun to sit in a theater and go by yourself in the dark. You know what it is, because then you don't have to talk to anyone and you can just really, you know, envelop yourself in the film. But were you, you were going to shoot the show in a mansion. Are you still able to do that? Oh, yes. We've been fortunate to be able to go back to the haunted Gable House. It's a wonderful location. And it has so much history in it. It's very spooky and scary and haunted to begin with. So it's just a perfect place for us to be for the show. I love it. So tell us about some of your guests. Like what a uh, couple of the films that you brought back. Um, we have quite a collection of classic films. Some that are popular, some that people have never heard of. Um, Messiah of Evil, The Cat in the Cage. Our first guest is Morgan Fairchild. We have um, Laura Parker from Dark Shadows, who was the original Angelique. Um, we'll be interviewing Barbara Steele. And we have a whole host of just wonderful, spooky guests. That's awesome. So, Suzanne, let's take a look at the trailer and show everyone. Okay. Night scares. We've been waiting for you. Except that it was shot in Paso Robles. Is that Robles? Robles? Paso Robles. Pro tonight's screen. Oh, tonight we're screen. Oh, am I talking? I heard talking in the mirror. The Messiah of Evil. Shoot. Wrong one. In a Hammer House film. Oh, I'm sorry. Hammer. Hammer. <laughs> I'm your host, Suzanne De Laurentiis. Wow, Suzanne, I love it. <laughs> so exciting. Well, so tell us where we can find, where, where can we horror fans find the show or follow the progression? You can look us up on Facebook. It's Suzanne Saturday Night Scares or follow us on Instagram. It's SSN Scares. 
and we'll be posting things regularly. The show should be debuting within the first and the next couple of months. So we're very excited. We'll keep our fans posted where they can watch it. That's so awesome. Are you doing anything special for Halloween? Not too much. I don't know if we're going to be able to celebrate or not. I think most people are still kind of hunkered and sheltered down in their homes. But we're coming up with creative ways to do fun things and celebrate. And hopefully next year will be better. Suzanne, thank you so much for coming on Wake Up With Marcy and being again part of the Halloween show and bringing some thrills to it. So good luck with the show. Thank you so much, and tune in for Suzanne's Saturday Night Scares. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye, Suzanne. Bye. Join me next week when we meet motivational speaker, success coach, and meditation guru, Anna De La Rosa. She and I have a very candid conversation about mental health. We then meet president and CEO of New 42, Russell Granite, and his daughter, Sadie, they are fighting to support arts and culture. Hear how you can help. Next up, we hear all about Glam Squad and these really cool eyes that they're gonna be doing for us when we have to wear our masks for Halloween. We'll be right back. Hi, Giovanni. Welcome to Wake Up with Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being a part of my Halloween special and bringing some fun beauty and some different ideas that we can incorporate instead of wearing a mask. So, totally. I love first it. of all, Giovanni, so you are the founder of Glam Squad. So, can you tell us real quick what Glam Squad is? Yeah, so I'm one of the founders of Glam Squad, and I'm also the artistic director. So I'm on the creative side of the company. And, you know, Glam Squad, what we do at our core is we bring beauty services, uh, in home beauty services to our clients, um, all powered through an app. But we're so much more than that. You know, when you look back at, you know, seven years ago when we launched our company, um, you would hear about only celebrities and influencers having their Glam Squad. Yeah. And as we said, that's not fair. Like, real women should be able to have their glam squad too in the comfort of their own home. So really what we did was we democratized the beauty service uh, industry by making it more accessible. And, um, and really our mission and our vision is to bring joy and to allow women to look and feel their best through our beauty services. Awesome. Well, we're gonna talk about, well, I don't know, can we call it beauty services for Halloween? <laughs> Because you guys have <laughs> some fun things that you are offering right now. So let's talk about that. Yeah, so Halloween at Glam Squad is um, it's a very fun time. It's definitely a busy time for us over the course of the past seven years. And we think it's going to be a very interesting year. You know, it's yeah. usually our busiest time of year. It's our busiest booking day. And so what we do is we typically adapt to that by launching services, Halloween services. And in the past, we've had some beautiful hair and makeup and fun spooky services that we've launched. And this year specifically, again, keeping up with what's happening during COVID times, um, we launched, we're launching an eyes only makeup service because there are women and men who are going to be, you know, having virtual Halloween parties, but there's also going to be women and men who, you know, want to go to small and, um, and medium sized gatherings. And so we want to be able to be there for yeah. either one. So we have makeup services. We have a Halloween uh, beauty makeup service. Um, we also have a Halloween theatrical. So this is, you know, this is the all-in service. This is the one that's going to be like your your sugar skull. Um, it's more intricate. It's transformative. It requires Ooh. more time. Think right. vampire with like special effects. Okay. And then, and then your we have hair services. So we have our Halloween um, our Halloween hair service, and that's going to be um, again intricate, very creative. It requires more time. And this is where we're using extensions, we're using glitter, um, we are using accessories, pretty much anything you can think of. So a little better than the can of spray that you buy at Walgreens? <laughs> <laughs> a little, bit, a little bit more involved than that and a little bit more professional for sure. So let's talk about eyes only. What does that look like? What are you offering? Yeah, so eyes only is a 30-minute service. 
and it's a $55 service. Again, we wanted to democratize the industry and um, allow it to be accessible for so many women. And this is again, the time where we're seeing, um, we're seeing so many new clients around Halloween booking our service and trusting Glam Spot to come in and, and, and help them look good and feel good. So with the eyes only, I mean, it can go wherever you want it to go. Eyeliner, shadow, um, you know, using Euphoria. I'm not sure how many are familiar with that show, but it's been a massive show on, on TV. And really thinking about how can we elevate, create pops of color around the eye. And while someone's wearing a face covering, still mm-hmm. allow them to feel like they've got some sort of glam and they're part of the celebration. That's really fun. So real quick, how are you making everyone feel safe in their homes? Yeah, you know, we, over the past seven years that we've launched Glam Squad, um, it's what we're really, really good at. You know, we've, we've been the trusted brand to, um, to walk into someone's home and have the protocol um, mm-hmm. for the past seven years. And so what we've done is we've just, we've just taken it a step further and added to it. So every single one of our Glam Squad professionals, and they have seven plus years of experience in the industry. They're incredible. Um, What they've done is they've gone through Glam Squad's PPE protocol. So they're all wearing face masks, um, shields for makeup artists. Uh, Mm -hmm. They're uh, they're bringing disposable gloves. They're also wearing aprons so that they can have their tools right next to them and that they're accessible. And the other part of it is, is that many of our pros, actually all of our pros, I should say, have gone through barberside certification. So the most hygienic certification that's out there, every single one of our pros have gone through it so that we know that we're keeping our clients safe by keeping our beauty professionals safe because that's what's most important to us. Wonderful, Giovanni. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Halloween is one of my favorite times. So can you make me look like one of these guys? (laughs) That's a a theatrical makeup for you. (laughs) Exactly. So I love the eyes. I love what you're doing. And thank you for helping us look our best during this time. Uh, Thank you for having us. Yes. And we have special packages coming uh, around these types of holidays. So um, look out for it on uh, on GlamSquad.com. Yeah, exactly. So how you have an app really quick. Tell us the app and you have a website. We have an app and we have a website. The app is very simple, Glam Squad app. And uh, our website is glamsquad.com. That's where you can find our services. That we're, that's where you can book our services. You can get a little bit of inspiration on there as well. And we also have um, these really just great packages for those who you know want to uh, incorporate Glam Squad into their life um, more than just a one time. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, have a wonderful day and happy Saturday. Thank you, you too. Okay, bye Giovanni. Bye-bye. Thank you all so much for spending your Saturday with me. I cannot wait to see Nicole's film, Transference, and I'm certainly going to reach out to Glam Squad and get a little pampering. We all deserve that. Join me next week when we meet motivational speaker, success coach, and meditation guru, Anna De La Rosa. She and I have a very candid conversation about mental health. We then meet president and CEO of New 42, Russell Granite and his daughter, Sadie. They are fighting to support arts and culture. Hear how you can help. I want you to follow me, please, on social media. I give you updates, I act a little silly, and I give you some inspiration. I want you all to please have a wonderful Halloween next weekend. I know it won't be the same, but let's try to keep the feelings around the holiday the same. All right, guys, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. We need each other. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Saturday.